Right, album of the week is, um, it is new, I promise you. If you listen to it, you may not think it's new. Uh, this is a Canadian band called The Sheepdogs, and please don't turn off at this point. It is worth continuing <laughs> on this one. Um, they've been around for some time, and this album, Out of Sight, came out uh, earlier in June, um, and it could have just as easily been released in June 1974. But the thing is... It's which band could have released it because the more you listen, the more you realize that these guys effortlessly stitch together so many different sort of hallmark sounds from a number of different places. And then much more importantly, create some absolutely great tunes to go with it. Um, I really, really like this album. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It's thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. There will be physical releases of it, but I don't know yet if they're going to be physical releases outside of Canada. But that's why it's album of the podcast, because it's on all major UK streaming services. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I'm probably stupid enough that, provided I don't have to spend all of my money on Super and Edit, um, I will probably try and get a vinyl copy in from Canada. Um, However, a vinyl release month because of the podcast, rather, because it's not uh, constrained by such rules. Um, as you know, every now and again, I have a distressing preponderance for world music. Um, to this time is no exception. Vieux Farcatore um, is the son of the legendary Ali Farcatore, um, who essentially brought West African music to wider attention in the late 1980s. Um, he is just as transcendently talented as his dad was. Um, he's been releasing some absolutely brilliant stuff over the years. If you are expecting something radically new from him, then, well, no, it doesn't. It's, it's all much of a muchness, but it's, it's just tremendous musicianship. Um, it's always beautifully recorded. And the reason it is the vinyl release, uh, my copy hasn't turned up yet. So I'm afraid I'm doing this on supposition, but I have never had a bad pressing off, um, of this guy or indeed any of uh, any of his label mates it's very very beautifully mastered and recorded and it's always very very carefully pressed once again if you don't want to dip, dip straight in on um just buying the vinyl blind which is you know fair enough um it is on all major uk streaming services um and i as i say i find it particularly relaxing because i don't have a single clue what he's singing about um because obviously it's not a language that i'm in any way conversant with i just thoroughly enjoy it um, so that is the vinyl of the podcast and um, playlist. Ironically, uh, we discussed beforehand that as none of us have really bothered watching Stranger Things as yet, um, uh, we're not really going to discuss it. But Cobuzz, uh, don't miss a trick on this. They have compiled a, uh, a 70 track, four hour playlist of things what are in and inspired by Stranger Things. So if so you're an basically anything music from fan, these. <laughs> Any is out I think music. it's it's thematically streamlined to be the same sort of overt pop culture sort of reference right, thing okay. that you were talking about earlier on. Um, uh, nevertheless, there's some great tracks on there, and it's always good to drive to, good to work to, so on and so forth. Um, uh, it, it's not been a vintage period for playlists. Um, as the streaming services cut back on editorial staff in the vain pursuit of actually trying to make some money, there's just less people flushing around the system to, to, to knock these things up. But I... I enjoyed listening to that one. It doesn't break any rant, uh, radical ground. If you don't have Cobuzz, you can replicate exactly the same thing by hitting 80s playlist on your streaming service and you'll get pretty <laughs> much the same thing. So don't don't sweat this one too much. But, you know, just remember, I mean, the 80s had many failings, but it, musically, probably one of the strongest decades yeah. going. So I'd agree, you know, I'd agree get with stuck you. in yeah. and enjoy yeah. it. Absolutely. Thanks for that, Ed. <laughs> 